Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Researchers from Chongqing University Industrial Technology Research Institute has already successfully tested a full-scale prototype of a pulse detonation wave engine on an SU-34 scale model. This is a huge leap in progress for Global Rotary Detonation Engine, or RDE technology. This is the first known success in this area. Research officials from the university reported this to local media, and they even published a video of the test. Previous research work on detonation wave engine is done in wind tunnels to see the aircraft's theoretical aerodynamic wind flow and performance under flying condition. If the engine development is successful, this could revolutionize aviation engine technology. Turbofan engines are more than 50-year-old technology. The world is just constantly innovating it to improve its reliability, fuel efficiency, and improve range and thrust capacity. This could improve the civilian and military sector. So how does pulse detonation wave engine work? And how does it differ from the conventional turbofan or turbojet engine? Well, detonation wave engine, in principle, works through supersonic shock waves that result from the rapid combustion of fuel-air mixtures. The engine's insides consist of rotor with a series of combustion chambers, and each combustion chamber contains a fuel-air mixture that is ignited by a spark plug. So as the rotor spins, detonation waves are propagated through the combustion chambers, causing a rapid series of efficient combustion. The result is a high-pressure gas then expelled through a nozzle, providing thrust for the fighter jet. Detonation engine, or RDE, has the ability to achieve higher combustion efficiencies compared to conventional jet engines. It is done by utilizing detonation waves so the engine can achieve complete combustion of the fuel-air mixture in a shorter amount of time, resulting in increased power output. While conventional jet engine combustion occurs at subsonic speeds, in jet engine, air enters the front intake and is compressed. Then the air is forced into combustion chambers where fuel is sprayed into it, and the mixture of air and fuel is ignited on a continuous combustion throughout the flight. Gases that form expand rapidly and are exhausted through the rear of the combustion chambers to create thrust for the jet. However, detonation wave engine is far from complete in a proven technology. It is still years ahead of possible commercial use. It still needs to overcome challenges in the development of rotary detonation engine. The engine needs to have stable and controlled detonation waves for the stable flight of an aircraft. It still needs to overcome the high temperatures and pressures generated during combustion. These are the areas the research group are looking into. The only thing slightly odd in the test is why did the researcher use the Russian Su-34 scale model instead of the J-20? To be honest, I don't have a clear explanation to this. Maybe they just randomly used the Su-34 model since it's the only RC plane available at the facility at the moment. Or they could be testing the SU-34 airframe as well on how it'll work and improve using the RD engine. If they were indeed also testing the SU-34 airframe, then probable explanation would be is that the SU-34 is known for its large fuel and payload capacity, so probably they want to see if the RD engine could improve the aircraft's range, speed, and payload capacity without carrying additional fuel. They're probably also testing SU-34's performance using RD engine compared to its conventional jet engine. Nevertheless, if successful, for sure this would be the engine used by the J-20, the J-16, and other Chinese fighters in the future. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.